Many people are living with a breast cancer diagnosis. The survival rate following breast cancer is good. Around 85% will be alive in five years. For the majority, the cancer would have been treated and it won't come back. However, understandably, many still have a fear of cancer recurrence and people worry about the possibility of the cancer coming back in the future. Now, the risk of breast cancer recurrence depends on so many factors and different types of breast cancers have different risk profiles. We know that the risk of recurrence for all breast cancers is highest in the first five years of diagnosis, and this is at around 10%. The risk is actually highest in the first few years after diagnosis. If your cancer is estrogen receptor positive or ER positive, your cancer recurrence risk is lower compared to those with ER negative disease or estrogen negative disease. But beyond five years, those with ER positive disease have higher rates of recurrence. There are other factors that may increase the risk of cancer recurrence. Number one is age. The younger you are, the greater the risk of recurrences. Number two is lymph node involvement. This refers to whether any of the lymph nodes in your armpit had cancer cells at the time of diagnosis. The more involved the nodes, the higher the risk of recurrence. Number three is the size. The larger the size of the cancer, the higher the risk. Number four is the grade of the cancer. The higher the grade, the more risk recurrence there is. So a grade three versus a grade one, for example. And lastly, if your cancer is ER and PR negative, in other words, they don't express the estrogen and progesterone receptors, then the risk of recurrence is increased. The other factors that can affect recurrence risk is lifestyle factors. Smoking and excess alcohol increases risk, whilst exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can markedly reduce recurrence risk. So how is breast cancer recurrence detected? Well, the best way is by doing a self-breast or chest examination. And the things to look out for are any lumps, any skin changes, any skin thickening, any rashes, any dimpling, any change in the shape of the breast, as well as spontaneous nipple discharge. It's also important to examine along the scars for any nodules or skin thickening, as well as lumpiness. The other thing is also to be aware of any nipple inversion. The other way of finding whether breast cancer has recurred is from your yearly or annual mammogram checkups. Recurrences can also happen in other parts of the body where the breast cancer cells have traveled to and started to grow. At this stage, the cancer is known as metastatic or secondary or stage four cancer. And the places where breast cancer can spread to include bones, the lung, the liver, as well as the brain. The signs and symptoms of metastatic breast cancer can be quite different. And I have made a different video talking specifically about metastatic breast cancer, and I will leave the link in the description below. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.